Presbyterian, I rise to speak against the substitute. Go ahead, sir. Uh, number one, uh, Mr. Moderator, the committee recommendation is beautiful. It is unanimous, except for one member of the Review of Presbyterian Records Committee. This recommendation represents the beautiful unity possible in Presbyterian polity and represents an effort to restore unity to our beloved communion during our jubilee year, to uphold our constitution, to be faithful to the scripture, true to the reformed faith, and obedient to the Great Commission. Second, Mr. Moderator, the committee recommendation is orthodox. Fundamental to the Reformed faith is that the sacraments must never be separated from the preaching of the word. We confess as a denomination that there is a difference between merely teaching on the Bible and preaching the word of God. A person who is not called and lawfully ordained or licensed by the church of our Lord cannot preach. Preaching is vitally connected to the call of God on a man. We confess as the PCA that God chooses to use the reading, but especially the preaching of the word as an effectual means of convincing and converting sinners and of building them up in holiness and comfort through faith unto salvation. And this report tells us of a session in the PCA that deprived the congregation of that vital means of grace. How can we be faithful to the Great Commission if the word of God is not preached in the worship of every church? Third, this recommendation is pastoral. If, as the report of our committee suggests, the session has deprived the congregation of the preaching of the word on a number of occasions, that is an urgent matter of shepherding for the assembly and the presbytery to ensure that the saints of that congregation receive the abundance of God's word that his spirit gives in the reading and especially the preaching of scripture. Uh, fourth, the committee recommendation is loving. Uh, these matters have been covered widely in the parachurch press. It would be helpful to restore the unity that has been disturbed by this departure from our Constitution. And SJC can render vital aid uh, toward restoring the peace and purity of the church in light of this matter after a clear record of what has happened has been established uh, by the commission. And so, Mr. Moderator, I urge the assembly to vote down the substitute and vote for the committee recommendation. This is the way, Mr. Moderator. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Just as a reminder.